on this episode of Street Rat Garage, it is the return of the Roadkill Fiero, getting it ready to go back to Roadkill Nights. If you have not seen it on the channel before, this is the Roadkill Off-Road Fiero. It's been in uh, several episodes of Street Rat Garage, and uh, it was in an episode of Roadkill, of course, that's why it's a Roadkill car. In 2019, they used this car as part of a trade deal where they went on Hot Rod Power Tour and they traded cars every day along the route. This was one of them. It was the Off-Road Fiero. I think it was called Guy Fiero. I can't remember, it's been a while. But I've had it on my channel and it has been sitting for a little while now. Almost exactly a year to be accurate we were getting it ready last year to go to roadkill nights up in uh, Pontiac Michigan but unfortunately had to cancel roadkill nights last year because of uh, I kind of waited too long to book a room and to buy tickets and uh, yeah it was a it was a mess so we're going this year for sure already got the tickets already got the room booked all that we need is the vehicle now in the past we have taken goose here the roadkill maverick and um he just came off of a hot rod power tour and starting to get a little tired to be honest so uh <laughs> we're gonna give goose here a good well-deserved rest um i think people have seen enough of of goose recently so we need to give a little bit of love to the fiero now, like I stated before, this has been sitting around for a year. I got it ready to go last year. Well, kind of ready to go. It, it was running and driving, no problems. There was a few little things that needed to be done, but nothing to stop it from uh, going up to Roadkill Nights, which there's really nothing to stop it right now from going up there, uh, besides the fact that it is absolutely filthy from sitting underneath a tarp outside for an entire year and not even being started. But uh, it's it's filthy on the inside um it's filthy on the outside we lost a light this light came out because it was merely zip tied in i mean what would you expect from a roadkill vehicle so i need to get a zip tie there's water inside there too so that's uh that's a problem i don't even think these worked before so we need to replace our zip ties. These are probably bad as well. But everything else, it's okay on the car. I mean, we have a tiny, tiny ground wire and a tiny, tiny positive wire. So we could, uh, we could use with a little bit better of those, but we only have a few days, I think three days. We have three days to get this ready and up to uh, Pontiac, Michigan for roadkill nights. So in typical roadkill style, we are just going to make it good enough to go up to Michigan and uh, display it and drive it back. So this is gonna be trailered up. Even if it ran good, it's a five hour drive. I'm not driving up Fiero for five hours. They are not comfortable. Well, not comfortable if you're tall. So it's not a tall person's car. We're gonna trailer it up there. So let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna load this on the trailer now. We're gonna take it back to my house because unfortunately we do not have water up here in uh, Street Rat Garage Worldwide Headquarters. I'm working on that, but no running water yet. So we can't run our power washer. So definitely going to need that. I'm gonna load this on the trailer. It still runs. I had to jump start it, but it still has the same battery in it. And it, uh, it'll, it'll still fire and it'll still do car things. Let's load it up. All right, we are ready. And uh, if you've seen this car on Roadkill, but not on my channel, you'll notice that it does have doors on it now, which it did not uh, when it was a Roadkill vehicle. There she goes. She's a runner. So on my channel, I put, uh, I bought another Fiero and I put doors on this one because, um, you know, it's nice to have when it's raining. We can still take it off. It's only three bolts, uh, no big deal. So let's load this guy up and get back to the house. 
I just guessed that the ramp placement without lining it up first, but I'm usually pretty good at that. So let's see if she goes on there. There we go. No problems. Well, maybe a little further. There we go. All right, she is all strapped down and ready to go. So let's get her back to the house and get this nasty thing cleaned up. We made it back to the house here and um, this looks even worse here in the nice bright sunshine than it did back in Street Rat Garage Worldwide Headquarters. It is uh, it's rather disgusting after sitting outside uh, being rained on in all that dirt for over a year. So let's fire up the old pressure washer do a music montage and get this thing cleaned up. All right, we are all set. Let's get started. Okay, it is all washed down and uh, just need to put the finishing touches on it. A little black magic tire foam, make the tires shiny. At least something should be shiny on this car because uh, yeah, nothing else is. Hmm, that's gonna be much better. And we cannot forget about our uh, running light here, which um, they don't work anyway, but basically decorations, so. We'll have our zip tie moment here where we uh, just secure this with two zip ties strung end to end. And uh, hopefully this goes in and doesn't fall back out. Uh, huh. Yeah, kind of struggling there a little bit on that. Anywho, I think we're going to need one more zip tie. OK, let's give that another try with three zip ties it's a trifecta of zip ties there we go yeah, like that like that and like that there we go now we're nice and secure secure I'm not even going to cut the tails off. I want to see people complain about that. <laughs> All right, so that should pretty much do it. The tires are done. The paint is it's shot. I mean, this paint is just terrible. But um, it is what it is. The doors don't match. But at least the tires are shiny. Our hood scoop, our snorkel is all ready to go. We didn't replace our wires, but we're, uh, we're trailering this up there. Well, we are about ready to get it loaded up on the trailer. Before that, we'll just hit the dashboard. Oh, look at that bottle leak. A little bit with a wet towel, make it a little bit less nasty inside of the car. But um, yeah. Nobody's going to care about the inside. It's all about the outside. So I'm going to clean this up real quick. I'm going to go get the trailer. We're going to get it loaded up and then uh, we should be all set to go. Yeah, up to roadkill nights should be a good time. OK, we got it all loaded up on the trailer and it's ready to go. We got it kind of shiny up, shiny, shine, shown. It's it, it's it's shiny. All right, we got it loaded up on the trailer and we are ready to go to Roadkill Nights. Um, well, we're going up there tomorrow and then that's Friday and then Roadkill is, Nights is on Saturday. So we're ready to go up there for the pre-party. So <laughs> let's get going. All right, we made it up here to Pontiac, Michigan and uh, got the Fiero unloaded, fixed a couple little things, had to fix the exhaust on it, it busted loose. Um, 
but it looks like we are gonna go over to Roadkill Nights in the morning. It starts, uh, starts Saturday. They had a power fest today, so we didn't make it over there, but we'll just go ahead and uh, get the Fiero loaded up here. Not loaded up, but we're gonna drive it over there. We haven't really test driven this yet. That's a problem. So let's take this down the road real quick. Make sure nothing falls off of it. It's about two miles to the M1 concourse. So if we can make, a, make it around the block here, we should be all right. All right, let's fire this thing up. There she goes. Still a little loud, but the, the exhaust is all hooked up. So we still have some exhaust leaks coming from somewhere, but that's fine. It's, uh, it's about twice as quiet <laughs> or half as loud as it was before. It's only a couple miles to the event. I'm sure it wouldn't have mattered with all the cars that are running around here that are super loud, but just in case. So let's take this out on the road real quick and see how she does. All right, here we go. Yeah, so far so good. It is, uh, it is not a speed demon. 2.5 liter Iron Duke engine uh, uh, paired behind an automatic transmission. So we are not gonna win any speed contest in this at all. But she's actually running pretty good. Uh, a little bit wobbly in the front end, but I think it's these big oversized tires, definitely. Plus they're, they've been sitting for a year without being um, <laughs> run at all. So there's that, but everything looks good. We got oil pressure. Uh, she's not getting hot. I'm hoping that it has brakes. I didn't test those out real good before I left the parking lot. Let's test that. Oh, they're a little stiff. They're actually stiff. Does the Fiero have manual brakes? I don't know. <laughs> it does now. Anyway, let's get this back to the, um, the hotel room and get it tucked in for the night. Well, we made it back to the hotel safe and sound. So I think we're gonna end it right here. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna go to uh, Roadkill Nights and we'll have some more coverage from there. So make sure to like, share, and subscribe and uh, stay tuned for the next one. Until next time.